with its beginnings dating back to the year 1730, yes, 1730, Lancaster Central Market in Lancaster, Pennsylvania has earned the title of oldest continuously running public farmer's market in the entire United States of America. We got to take a quick walkthrough during a recent trip to Lancaster, so now I'm going to share with you that glimpse of this historical market. Welcome everybody to this video today. So Lancaster Central Market in downtown Lancaster City. Yes, the city. I went into the city. I know it's shocking, but it was actually really fun. So Lancaster Central Market is open every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday of the entire year. They're only closed on Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. They open technically about 7 a.m., though some do open earlier. Some stands open about 6 a.m., and they close at 3 p.m. A few fun facts, and then we will get to the tour. So there are three stands that have been open the longest, the longest running stands. One is called Stoner's Homegrown Vegetables, and they've been actually serving there for more than 100 years. They have Thomas Produce for more than 80 years, and then Long's Horseradish for more than 60 years. And then throughout the video, I'm going to tell you other ones who've been there for quite a while, 20, 30 years. The two newest stand holders joined in August of this year, 2022. One is called Safe and Sweet. It's like vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, all safe eating. Uh, and then another one's called Susquehanna Sustainable Enterprises. They both have just joined in August. But right now, we're going to get to the tour. So hope you enjoy it. Um, I didn't get every single stand, disclaimer. But I did get most of them, and the ones I didn't get, I'm going to list as helpful tips. Okay, so we're going to come in off the North Market Street side into the building. Um, we're going to look to the left here. I'm going to talk about a few things down there because I did not get to walk down through here. But down here, you will find Farm the Table Creations, which is charcuteries and sandwiches. The Goodie Shop has salads and sandwiches and quiche. Uh, you have Brogue Hydroponics. Um, you have Nord Scandinavian foods. That'd be good to check that out. There's Mr. Bill's fresh seafood down there. The socializers, there's platters and ribs and greens and mac and cheese. They have country goods, which is just local goods and bakery items. Um, and then they have some Thai food down there, as well as Christina's Criollo, which is Puerto Rican food. And then Central Market Juice Company is down there, which is actually one of the more popular ones. And to the right here of this entrance is Zig's bakery which is a lot of local goodies like whoopie pies and yummy donuts and cookies and then also across there is com essa which is what means come eat in pennsylvania dutch they have a lot of good local stuff there as well and com essa was definitely one of the more popular ones that the, the day we were visiting it was very popular there So to the right is Breakaway Farms, and they sell a lot of fresh and local meats. And then across from Breakaway is Green Circle Organics, who uh, produce a lot of local, sustainable, healthy foods, dried goods, dairy produce. So quickly on your left is look at AJ's. They have a lot of ready-to-eat meals, a lot of options for those with dietary needs. Next we have Maple Hoff Dairy. It's been around since 1999. Uh, they've been making their own milk though since 1974. All their dairy products are made from their Holstein cows and this is all done in L Southern Lancaster County. So now we have Ula Bowls, which is a very popular stand. It has acai, berry, and oatmeal bowls for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really healthy food, a super fruit. Here we have Lancaster Pet Bakery, which kind of speaks for itself. Uh, really cute and great way to provide some high quality stuff for your pets that you love. This stand opened up in 2006 and they have been making homemade all natural dog bones uh, since that time. So right there in the middle is Rick's Bread and they've been around since the early 90s. They have all locally sourced ingredients in their bread and they have a lot of different kinds of delicious homemade breads. And here we have a nice little coffee stand called Lancaster County Coffee Roasters. Spring Glen Fresh Foods. They've been around as a company since 1942. They serve pot pie, chow chow, potato salad, but they also have soups and desserts and a lot of good things to choose from. And then here is Mises Candies. Now this has been around for a long time and really almost as long as the market. They've been around since 1875. They have all natural ingredients using their pure vanilla, real butter, fresh cream, no added preservatives. So some delicious candy over here. Next is Lancaster Distilleries. They are an award-winning Pennsylvania craft distillery located in downtown Lancaster. Here we have Totally Nuts, which is pretty self-explanatory, but they do sell them by the half and full pound, just so you know. 
And right next to them is Amaranth Bakery, which is basically a wholesale gluten-free bakery in Lancaster. They have a stand here as well with a lot of their really delicious and great option for baked goods if you need gluten-free. They have a really great selection here. I was really impressed with all they had to offer for gluten-free. And this beautiful stand straight ahead is Inspirational Blossoms, which is obviously some beautiful, freshly cut flowers, all from one family's farm, John and Anna Byler in Lancaster County. And here we have Tea Bar, which is a place that really focuses on holistic living. They have fair trade certified and organic stuff here. So a lot of good fresh blends and sustainability products available. And we're backtracking a bit over here to Havana Juice. They make freshly pressed sugarcane juice a natural unprocessed option. Now we're hopping right back here to Groff's Vegetables. They've been selling produce here for more than 70 years, since 1946. They have a um, chemical-free 10-acre farm where they grow all their produce. And then right across we have Mean Cup, which offers espresso, coffee, and tea beverages, as well as sodas and apple cider. Next we have the candy stand, which looks pretty sweet, if you ask me. It's operated by Ann and Richard Miller. Um, they use a lot of the local places like Wilbur Chocolate, Groff, and Fitzky Candies to sell here. So they kind of source those out and bring them to us here at the market. Next we have Amish Family Recipes. This is quite a large stand and kind of wraps around like a U. They have, you know, decorations and kitchen gadgets for like towels and such. And then they have salsas and pickled vegetables and mustards and a lot of Amish and Mennonite family recipes and traditions. They also have locally popped popcorn and biscotti and soup and cookie mixes. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here at the stand. And here's Pineapple House Creations, which uses all natural products to create lotions, creams, and balms, and even some soy candles. Right next to them is Flower Garden Crafts, all sorts of things that are handcrafted in the Amish community to be brought to us here at the market. Next is Bars Farms Produce. They're one of the more popular stands in the market. They have been selling from their southern Lancaster County farm for many years. They have fresh seasonal favorites and even things like winter sauerkraut and even flowers for summer and spring as well. Next is Country Meadows Farms, which is a cooperative of local farms in southern Lancaster County that bring fresh grass-fed, free-range meat and poultry to the market each week. Over here is Kaufman's Fruit Farm, which is a staple in Lancaster County, truly. It's, everybody knows about Kaufman's great orchard, so this time of year they're kind of really good apple cider. And they also have plums and cherries and apples. They have been around since about 1911 with their uh, fruit trees in Lancaster, so they're a really well-known company. So we're coming to this side of the market, which kind of parallels William Henry Place along the outside here. Here we have Lindendale Farm, and they are goat farmers who go back seven generations to 1797 of making high quality goat <laughs> cheese. So that's a pretty cool thing to be able to say about your family. Next we have Deli Grassi, which has a whole bunch of lovely Italian specialties, homemade dishes and recipes. Great option for some yummy Italian food.
Over here is Rooster Street Butcher. They offer charcuterie and fresh meats, with, including bacon, curd meats, fresh sausages, and much, much more. There's no hormones or antibiotics or anything used like that for this kind of meat. On the right here, we pass Rejuice, which is a uh, cold-pressed juice that they sell here with fruits and vegetables. Here is another look of Country Meadows Farms. We've kind of talked about it already, but it's a, a co-op of some local farms um, only selling grass-fed meats. Here we have a really fun place for gifts and uh, mementos called PA Dutch Gifts. They have all sorts of things like postcards, t-shirts, other collectibles. And again, here's another shot of Bar's produce. As you can see, it kind of wraps around as a U, so it's a pretty large stand. And here's Long's Horseradish, which has been bringing famous, their famous horseradish to Lancaster County for a long time, since 1902. And then here we have Vuna Tavola, which has obviously some fresh pasta. We have a lot of specialties here, including different kinds of pastas, whole wheat, spinach, vegan, all that stuff. And they have sauce as well. And here we have one of the newbies of the market, Safe and Sweet. They are all keto-friendly, gluten-free, sugar-free, low-carb, diabetic, all sorts of very stomach-friendly goods here that look delicious, by the way. Here we have Sunnyside Acres Produce stand that offers the local and seasonal items, which is really nice for a market. And a real quick peek at Safies. I think it's how you say it. It's Middle Eastern food. It's one of their most popular stands, by the way. Across from Safies was the herb shop, which sells teas and herbs and spices. And then across from the herb shop was Crowded Kitchen, which offers a variety of fresh stocks and broth on tap. A really healthy way to have your soups and sauces made. To the right here is J.B. Kelly Seafood Connection. They carry super fresh, wild caught, in season fish, sustainable, fresh from the Atlantic Ocean. So from the dock to your plate. Right down there on the end quick is Anna's Pierogies, which obviously sells pierogies. And then right next to it, it was closed, but it's Forever Friends. And they have glass and pottery and wooden uh, artwork. To the left here is Shanks Poultry. It was not open this day, but they have been around for more than three decades. Here we have Sofa's Farms, a local Lancaster farm selling good seasonal local produce, uh, lot selection, all homegrown and within the local areas. Next up is Uncle Leroy's Candy Kitchen. They make delicious sweets. They are known for their fudge. They also have caramel popcorn and cookies. And then opposite that, we have S. Clyde Weaver. They've been around for a long time in Lancaster County, since 1920. Next, we have the Turkey Lady. So she sells all things turkey. They have 21 varieties of sausage, jerky, and snack sticks. So a lot of things you can eat here that are all turkey-based. And then another beautiful flower stand. I've actually really loved seeing the flowers in this market. This is called Central Market Flowers, and they have the nice offerings as well. And then we have Shady Maple, another Lancaster County a staple and they have been around for a while they sell delicious food of course they have the big smorgasbord but they also have baked goods and a bakery and a store so they bring their stand here as well there is an elevator here on this side as you can see as well as an atm machine and as we go out of the building you can see what a really cool pedestrian area they have here with the brick line streets this is a really neat area I hope you enjoyed that little walk around tour. 
uh, you really should go check it out for yourself. I need to go back actually and get a better look because we were very rushed that day. We had an appointment and didn't get to spend as much time as we really should have. So, but this gives you a little taste to help you about your appetite <laughs> to go visit this place. I know it did for me. So a few things about them that I want to mention quickly. They have special events throughout the year, which make it really fun to come here. They actually have a second Saturday in June is a strawberry festival. The first Saturday in October, which just happened, was a harvest breakfast, and they kind of lined their brick-lined streets or their brick-lined sidewalks of like tables, and they people who work the vendors come out and give you your food, and it looks really fun and a beautiful time of year to do that. So that's really fun, and they also have music on the mezzanine through December, so you have people playing along the market um, to, to enjoy. For all you lucky locals who live close enough for delivery, there are about 11 vendors who offer delivery. And for us out-of-towners, a lot of these vendors have websites where you can order online and have things shipped to you, so that's a nice option too. Check the website for that information. Okay, so a little bit of the history. So back in the early 1700s, 1730 to be exact, uh, local farmers from around this area would come to this location as a, it was very centralized for the farmers to sell their goods. That's how it started with a plot of land and they started selling their goods at this little open air market. And then shortly after in 1742, Lancaster became an official charter as a borough and the king decreed that Lancaster would hold market twice a week and would continue until the year forever. <laughs> So I wish people talked this way still. I don't know. I guess it's the way they said things, but I love that. I just had to mention that, that that's literally what it says on the website. In 1757, Lancaster built its first official market building. The official one was built at that time. Um, likely it was an open air design with stalls kind of for their sections. And then it kind of evolved through the years. And then in 1889, uh, the, the city hired someone to actually build this beautiful marketplace that still stands today. So it was built in five months in 1889. I think it was like June to October or something like that. So that's pretty amazing that they built this beautiful structure in that amount of time. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. If you love Lancaster or are just curious about Lancaster, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when a new video is published. Um, I love meeting the people, even through YouTube, who love Lancaster. There's a lot of us out there. So thanks for tuning in today and hope you enjoy your next great adventure.